Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is Madden Monday. That means we got our Houston Texans franchise in Madden 2003. And today we've got some Monday Night Football. Uh, the Indianapolis Colts are traveling to Houston. We already know the story here. Peyton Manning, Edron James, Reggie Wayne, Marvin Harrison, Marcus Pollard. And a very young, stingy defense. But Jonathan Vilma is doubtful for the game. And he will not suit up. Take a look around the league. The Chiefs beat the Browns 30 27 in overtime. Browns fall to 6 and 4. Chiefs improve to 4 and 6. 49ers drop another game. They are 1 and 9. Ravens destroy them. Bears get back on track again here. 40 to 23 over the Saints. The Panthers beat the Eagles. The Rams beat the Packers. Patriots beat the Bills 24 17. And the Dolphins destroy the Broncos by 4 touchdowns 31 to 3. Buccaneers beat the Giants 27-20. Jets beat the Jags in overtime. Jaguars now 6-4. I believe that is two in a row that they have lost. Vikings beat the Raiders 20-13. Cowboys beat the Redskins 18-15. I think that's three in a row for the Cowboys. Seahawks beat the Steelers 13-10 in Pittsburgh. The Chargers beat Cincinnati 26-14. The Lions beat the Cardinals 18-7. And the Titans get destroyed by the Atlanta Falcons 40-13. That's a big game right there because next week we take on Mike Vick and the Atlanta Falcons. And it's going to be a really crazy game because we have not seen Mike Vick in this series. And there's Edron James. We've seen him plenty in this series. And he has always put in work against us. And so has Reggie Wayne. A bunch of former Miami Hurricanes playing in the, today's game. Mo Sykes, Edron James, Sean Taylor, Reggie Wayne, DJ Williams, and a few others. But they are not starters. But here is the opening kickoff. Mike Vanderjack kicks it deep to Sammy Parker at the three-yard line. And he'll take it right up the middle. Jukeman out and gets up to about the 25-yard line. And Carson Palmer and Larry Johnson take over on offense. And that is immediately a six-yard pickup off the left side of the line. Palmer well, going to throw it on second down. Billy Miller picks up the first down. About a four-yard catch for the tight end. Second and ten. Patrick Pass gets a six-yard carry up the middle. Nice carry by the fullback. Third down, though. Palmer delivers a strike to Jabbar Gaffney at the 44-yard line for the first down on a slant pattern. Palmer rolling right side, and he hits Gaffney again with a laser down to the 20-yard line. Second and seven, Palmer all day. Wide open in the back corner is Sammy Parker for his first career NFL touchdown reception. Give it up for the former Oregon Duck. He did have a return for a touchdown earlier in the season, a few games back, but that's his first catching touchdown. And here's Manning taking over, and that is some toe drag swag by Marvin Harrison on the sideline. Nice catch by the former Syracuse Orangeman. Charles Tillman on the coverage. First and ten for Manning. Toss play out to James, and he'll pick up seven yards before Sean Taylor finally brought him down. A couple hurricanes colliding there, and James will get a nice chunk of yards here. And Jamie Henderson brought him down, but that is a holding call on Marcus Pollard. So it is now second and 13. They give it off to the backup, and that is Dominic Rhodes up to the 33-yard line, getting very close to the first down marker. Rodney Harrison with the tackle. James stuffed. He does not get the first down. That was Rodney Harrison once again. Two plays in a row making tackles. Mike Vanderjet on for the field goal attempt. The kick is up, and it is no good. It was very close. Let's take a look. Look at that. About a foot and a half below the field goal post. Third and seven for the Texans. Palmer pump fakes. All day to throw it. Goes to the right. Patrick Pass makes the catch. They would challenge it, and we would lose it. His toe was out of bounds. Edron James with a stiff arm. Spins. Breaks a tackle. And Will Smith can't get him. Edger and James is going to take this one to the house. And I believe that is an 83-yard touchdown run for the edge. The Colts already over 100 yards rushing on the day. See if the Texans can answer back here as they go deep. Jabbar Gaffney with the catch. Jumps over the safety. 
two guys chasing him, and he is going to score. Unbelievable. That is back-to-back 80-plus -back yard touchdown plays. First and 10, Edrin James gets a handoff, breaks the tackle, spins again in the open field. Sean Taylor cannot catch him, and that is another 80-plus yard touchdown play. That makes three in a row. Oh, my goodness. No defense was had on this day. And on the kickoff, here's Mike Vanderjack kicking deep to Terry Fair at the two-yard line. And he'll return this one towards the middle. Juka man out in the open field. One defender giving chase, and he's going to run away from him, and he is going to take this one all the way. And that is four touchdowns all over 80 yards in less than a minute on four consecutive plays. Unbelievable. Reggie Wayne with a nice catch up to the 30-yard line. 15-yard reception for the firm, former Hurricane. Peyton Manning's only thrown the ball twice today. Here's his third attempt to Marvin Harrison, who picks up another first down for Indianapolis inside Houston territory. Edron James gets the carry right side, picks up eight yards before Rodney Harrison brings him down. Second and two. Manning going left side, and Edron James somehow snuck out of the backfield and gets a nice chunk of yardage. Sean Taylor brought him down after the first down catch. Marcus Pollard with a nice catch in the middle for another first down. A long, methodical drive here by the Colts. And Manning goes to the left side wide open was Reggie Wayne. Let's take a look here. And it didn't look like Jamie Henderson wanted to play football there. Palmer hands off to Johnson as the Texans take over. That's a four-yard pickup off the left side. Look at those yards. Colts already have 281 yards of offense. Texans 157. And they'll get more here as Johnson is in the open field past the 45 up to about the 49-yard line. That's a 20-plus yard run. Larry Johnson getting hype. First and 10, play action. Palmer rolling right side, hit as he throws, but he's got Billy McMullen, and he juked a man out of his shoes. That was Terrence Newman who he juked out, and he gets it up to the 20. Carson Palmer gets hurt on the play, but no worries. He will return after this drive. And that might have that was pretty close to being a, a late hit there. Counter play to Johnson up the middle. He picks up eight more yards right up the gut. 44 yards on six carries today. Not bad. And they'll give it off to Quentin Griffin here, who gets it inside the five-yard line up to about the three. First and goal upcoming for Houston. Griffin's carries have drastically dropped from last season. But we haven't really needed it because Larry Johnson has just been dominating every defense that we've come across, except for the Jets. <laughs> touchdown, Houston. Larry Johnson, I believe that is his 16th rushing touchdown on the season. Manning going screen pass. That was a backwards pass, so that'll have Edron James lose six yards. Kendrick Clancy hurt his arm but got right up. Manning throwing left side, caught by Reggie Wayne in between two defenders on the sideline. Great concentration by the wide receiver. Got both feet in bounds. Third and three. He's got three catches for 33 yards. And there's Marvin Harrison up to the 33 yard line. And that is another first down. Peyton Manning, nine consecutive completions. And he's going to throw it again here. And Pollard got past DJ Williams and got rocked after the catch. Let's see who it was on the hit. Rodney Harrison laying the boomstick down on him. And he's throwing again. Right side, Harrison. Another catch up to the 35 yard line. That's his fifth catch on the day for 60 yards. They're going to go no huddle here. Manning under center. Harrison out to the right. Wayne to the left. And Manning's going to throw it left side to Pollard, who stiff arms a man, and he'll pick up eight yards. And DJ Williams gets his third tackle on the day. Indianapolis going no huddle again here. Shotgun formation. James to the right of Manning. And Manning will throw it. Left side, deflected away and caught anyways by Reggie Wayne. Oh my goodness. This reminded me of our game against the Tennessee Titans, I believe, in year one. It's the shortest video I've ever done in this series. I believe it was four minutes long. But that's how the entire game went for us against the Titans that year. 
Nice deflection by Marcus Washington there. Second and goal, tight end in motion to the left. And Manny will hand it off to Edron James right up the middle, and he gets it up to the two-yard line. Marcus Washington finally got him down. And Manning right side almost picked off by Charles Tillman. He was so close, and he might have been gone with that. Colts tack on a field goal there. 28-24 is the score as Larry Johnson picks up five yards. 18 seconds to go. Palmer hit as he throws it, and Justin Fargus drops it, and he might have been gone with that 97 speed. If he could just hold on to the ball. Last play of the first half. Manning is 13 of 16 for 166 and a touchdown. Incredible. And he's going to throw it again here. Throws it as far as he can. And it's caught by Marvin Harrison at the 20-yard line. My goodness. Tack on about 40 more yards to Manning's total on the day. That'll end the first half with the Texans on top. 28-24. And the Colts already have 411 yards of offense. Texans 232. Just unbelievable numbers right now. Nice kick by DePace to the one yard line. That is Bird. And Mo Sykes comes up, lays a big hit on him. Mo Sykes leads the special teams in tackles this year. I believe he's got over 20 tackles. And that pass should have been intercepted by Washington. He misjudged it. And Knight gets it up to the 36 yard line for another first down for Indianapolis. James gets a carry left side. And he's taken down. Jamie Henderson, nice tackle there by the corner. Second and five. Draw play to James. Right side, spinning, breaking a tackle. And he got rocked, but he did pick up another first down. Sean Taylor on the tackle. That's his sixth of the day. Let's take a look here. Boom! What a hit. A hurricane colliding with another hurricane. Manning under center. James will get it again. Breaks a tackle. And he'll pick up six more yards before Rodney Harrison trips him up. Colts have 219 on the ground. Texans only 63. And Corey Redding with a deflection and the hit on the quarterback. About the only pressure you guys will see from our defense in the game. Third and five for the Colts. Draw play to the fullback. And that play call is a head scratcher. You've got Edger and James who has been gashing this defense. And you give it off. To the fullback. Unreal. Palmer to Larry Johnson who lays out for the catch. Gets the first down for Houston. Palmer 7 of 12. 183 and two touchdowns on the day. And he sets up a screen here to Larry Johnson. Left side. Who spins a man out of his shoes. Gets up to the 30 yard line. That's another first down for Houston. 142 passing yards on the right side of the field for the Texans today. As Larry Johnson gets a handoff left side, goes back in, cuts it out left, breaks a tackle. Still going, breaks another tackle up to midfield. Unbelievable vision by the second year halfback out of Penn State. Second and ten, they'll give it to him again, juking, getting five more yards right up the gut. Third and five, Palmer's going to throw it here. Rolling right side, wide open, and Parker drops an easy catch, and the Texans would punt the ball away. James with a carry, DJ Williams on the tackle, another hurricane tackling another hurricane. He's over 200 yards rushing, 214 on 13 carries with two touchdowns. And he does not get the first down here. Clutch stop by Marcus Washington, stopped him just an inch shy of the first down. Hunter Smith on for the punt, and he boots it deep to the 31-yard line to Sammy Parker, who's got an open field in front of him, past midfield, past the 40, and the last man gets him at the 32-yard line. He needed one more block, and he was gone. Larry Johnson gets a carry up the gut here, six-yard pickup. Just another day at the office for the running backs for both teams. And they'll give it off to him again, and he is stuffed. He did not get the first down, so the Texans will send on Max to pace for the field goal attempt. Last play of the third quarter. The kick is up. It's about a 41-yard field goal attempt, and it is good. And that will end the third quarter. Going to the fourth, it is 31-24. Texans on top by a touchdown. Winner of this game will take sole possession of first place in the AFC South. And Reggie Wayne wants to make sure it is the Colts as he takes a huge touchdown to the house. Oh my goodness, another 80-plus yard touchdown play in this game. 
and that is the fifth one today. Unbelievable here on Monday Night Football. And here's Palmer rolling out right side, throwing deep, and that's Larry Johnson, not Bryant, all the way to the 27-yard line. We haven't seen Bryant Johnson's number called at all today, and they really haven't had to. Here's Larry getting a carry, and Larry brings it up to the 21-yard line, getting close to that red zone. Third and four, Justin Fargus gets a carry. He'll pick up the first down up to the 12-yard line. A rare carry for Justin Fargus results in a first down for the Texans, and Palmer is sacked, and that was Teddy Lehman, rookie out of Oklahoma, getting his first sack of the ball game. Palmer over the middle, Jabbar Gaffney inside the 10-yard line, spins up to about the 7, makes this third down a little bit more manageable. Gaffney, 130 yards receiving today, 45 yards after the catch. Palmer rolling right side. He's got a man wide open in front of him, and it's Sammy Parker for his second career touchdown reception and the second of this game, his third total touchdown on the season. Unbelievable talent. I'm glad we signed him in free agency. And that was a huge hit by Will Smith on Edger and James. And he's letting him know it. Second and six, draw play to James. He goes right side, still going, and he is taken down and fumbles it. And that is recovered by Charles Tillman at the 38-yard line. Let's take a look here. Let me know if you guys think this is a fumble because it was challenged and it was reversed. Manning going to throw it here. Right side, Harrison, and he fumbles it. And it is recovered by Indianapolis anyways. So that is two plays, two fumbles. Harrison over 100 yards receiving today. 103. Manning's going to throw it again here. Left side wide open was Reggie Wayne. Nice out route there. Quick pass from Manning. And the outsides are getting torched by Manning today. James up the gut. Hit. And Williams drops him at the 42-yard line. Another nice pickup for the edge. Third and four. Manning over the middle. Reggie Wayne once again with another clutch first down. He's up to 156 yards on seven receptions with two touchdowns. He is insane. Edron James breaking a tackle from Rodney Harrison. And that is a six-yard carry. Manning going to throw it. Right side. Marvin Harrison has it inside the 10-yard line. Charles Tillman, tight coverage. And Harrison still got the ball. Used his speed to break away just a little bit. Two-minute warning. First and goal now. James with a carry. Breaks a tackle from DJ Williams. And he'll pick up five yards. Second to go from the five. Manning's going to throw it left side. Marcus Powers got it, and he fumbles it. And DJ Williams will recover it, and he might take it all the way. Reggie Wayne can't make the tackle. Peyton Manning finally brought him down. And guess who forced that fumble? That was Sean Taylor. And that's his eighth tackle of the game. Let's take a look here. Just smashed him. Knocked that ball right out of his hands. Three Hurricanes involved on the play. Sean Taylor, Reggie Wayne, and DJ Williams. Larry Johnson getting a carry. Right side, breaks it left side, past midfield, past the 40. One man to beat, past the 30. And that stiff arm knocked Terrence Newman's soul out of his body. Johnson gets it up to the 16-yard line. Oh, my goodness gracious. What a run from Larry Johnson. And we have seen that a lot these past couple seasons. One remaining timeout for the Colts as Larry Johnson gets a carry, jukes a man out, breaks a tackle again, and walks it into the end zone. Texans take a two-touchdown lead here in Houston on Monday Night Football. Max the pace on for the kickoff. He kicks it deep towards the sideline at the two-yard line, and Bird will return it, and he is destroyed by Quentin Griffin, who was our special teams tackle leader last season. And there's also a holding call, so the Colts are on the seven-yard line now. And it doesn't even matter because Marvin Harrison was wide open, but he did fumble it, and Marcus Washington recovered it. And again, let me know what you guys think of this fumble because it was challenged and reversed once again. That was very close. But the Colts do still have the ball. Manning under center. He's going to throw it left side. Harrison's got it for a first down up to the 43-yard line. Second and 10. Manning going to throw once again. Going right side, and you will not be able to challenge that one. That is a pick. 
And Tillman returns it up to the 34-yard line. And that will put the nail in the coffin here in Houston on Monday Night Football. But I'm going to show you guys one more play. Here's Larry Johnson up the gut. And look how many people he just runs over here. Takes half the defense to bring that man down. He is a man amongst boys. But that is the ball game. 45 to 31 is the final score. Houston improves to 7 and 3. Indianapolis falls to 6 and 4. They are now tied with the Jaguars for second place in the AFC South. Pretty decent victory today. The defense needs a lot of work though. They gave up over 600 yards. And that is just unacceptable. But I'm going to forget about it tomorrow because we came away with a victory. There, Johnson gets player of the game. Colts had 655 yards of total offense, 266 on the ground as a team. Just unreal. 252 for Edgerin James alone. That is a record in the game, but we all know the record. And that is not it. 389 yards passing for Indianapolis, 266. But Houston did really well on offense too, 417. So there was over 1,000 yards of total offense. Just an unreal game. Houston scores 14 in the fourth to pull away. Charles Tillman seals it with an interception. Take a look at the Colts numbers. 22 of 32 was Peyton Manning. Edron James 252. 18 broken tackles. Ridiculous. Both top receivers had 150 plus yards receiving. Reggie Wayne had the two touchdowns. Carson Palmer, 248 yards, three touchdowns, no picks. Sacked twice, a long of 80. Larry Johnson, 156 on the ground, two touchdowns. Gaffney, 130 yards receiving. Johnson also had 61 receiving. Sammy Parker had two catches, both four touchdowns today. Gaffney had the third touchdown pass. Sean Taylor had nine tackles. Charles Tillman had six. Rodney Harrison and DJ Williams both had five. Will Smith and Jamie Henderson had tackles for a loss today. No sacks. Charles Tillman had the pick. Six deflections on the day. We were credited with two forced fumbles. Sam Adams and Sean Taylor. DJ Williams with the recovery and a long return. Max Pace one of one today. Terry Fair, 98-yard kickoff return for a touchdown. It's the longest we've seen in this series. And Sammy Parker had a 36-yard punt return. Next week, we take on the Atlanta Falcons in Houston. And guess what? Two weeks in a row, we have Monday Night Football. I don't think I've ever seen that before, but I'm not going to argue it. We are 7-3. They are 6-4. It's going to be a great matchup. It's not the game of the week because the 8-2 Patriots travel to Baltimore to take on the 9-1 Ravens. So that should be a really great game as well. But I will see you guys next Monday with that episode. I will see you guys Wednesday with another FCS tournament. Take it easy, guys.